Charlie and the Weird News This is Charlie. Charlie enjoys being on the internet and exchanging ideas with friends, just like now. Oh no, what's the point of this? Unfair! Politicians decide Sunday school. From the next school year, pupils in years four to six will have extra lessons every first Sunday of the month. I have to show this to the others straight away. I better forward it to everyone. Charlie, what are you doing? What? Everyone should know about this. This is incredibly mean news. Hey, Charlie, what are you doing lying? Lying? What do you mean? This is complete nonsense. I also got this notification the other day and was totally shocked. Luckily, it turned out to be wrong, so delete it and write to the others again so they know. Your friend is right. That was a hoax, so-called fake news. Oh no, how could I fall for that? This has probably happened to almost everyone. It's easy to fall for something like that. Anyone can publish anything on the internet. No wonder not everything is real. Fake news means news that is not true. Fake news can be unmasked with attention and brains. This is what you can do when you come across a similar notification. First, switch on your brain and think. Are you shocked or annoyed by the news? Fakes are specially designed in such a way that they excite or frighten. So don't just believe everything and share or forward without thinking. Second, check the source and author. Who brought out the report? Look at the name of the publisher, author, and the website or newspaper. Is the name in the imprint strange? Sometimes there is no imprint at all. These are indications of counterfeiters. Names of well-known newspaper magazines are slightly modified so that they can be confused with the original. Spelling mistakes and exaggerated capitalization can also indicate fakes. Third, Research the content of the message and check the facts. Check the search engine to see if the report has already been exposed. Visit websites where fakes are located and exposed. Be smart. Fourth, put pictures and videos to the test. Does the picture really belong to the text of the report or did someone trick and steal the picture from another report in order to make the fake news credible? Well, how about it? Do you want to test whether these tips can help you spot fake news? What do you think? Are the following reports true or false? Real or fake? I will find out. Cola for school children. School children are extremely tired in the first lesson, so in future they should get a free cola in the mornings to wake up. Author. Constantin Sugarloaf. Source. Funny minus teacher minus school minus jokes dot de. Real or fake? That was a fake. A bottle of cola a day would hardly be the right remedy for school fatigue, would it? Did you recognise the mistakes in the text? The source and the author's name are also strange. So, is this one real or fake? Maya marries crocodile. This bride has quite sharp teeth. In the Mexican fishing village of San Pedro Huamalula, a local politician married a little crocodile. Source, spiegel.de. That was real. This news story is correct. The spelling and style were correct and a well-known and reputable source was included. It continues with the next example. Is this real or fake? Caution! Dangerous rays. Tonight, from 12.30 to 3.30, don't forget to switch off your mobile phone, tablet, etc. and put it away from your body. Cosmic rays will pass close to the Earth. It can cause terrible damage. This is not fake. Send this message to everyone you love. That was fake. 
Messages like this spread very quickly via messenger apps and social media. They are total lies. So, this time, is this message real or fake? Huge cruise ship launched? Embarrassment! The construction of the luxury cruise ship Avalon cost an impressive 1.5 billion euros. Now it was launched in Hamburg, but the launch failed completely. The imposing ship immediately disappeared into the depths of the Elbe and with it a fortune. That was fake. The picture shows the Titanic and is much older than the message. It originally did not belong to the text and was simply cheekily connected to the text of lies. These were a few examples. Fakes have many faces. Don't believe everything you see on your computer or smartphone. It could be fake. And another tip. Do your research with search engines for children. Here you get verified news and real information without lies. Seitenstark is fun and smart. Click yourself clever on seitenstark.de.